works all right and uh you keep on doing that you know throughout the entire movie um you know it's kind of a lot of people like to use a lot of layers so you know maybe the next clip you can do everything on this second bottom layer and and you know like i said the transitioning you know you can just easily do a transition from the top layer to the bottom layer by doing you know fade out at the top and fade in from the bottom and this works exactly like it would if it was on the same layer and they were overlapped so um yeah that's how that's done and uh we've got syncing we've got and uh transitions next uh thing to do is to add some special effects if that's what you want to do so there's a tab called video fx so um like the transition panels there's just a whole lot of things that you could go through um a lot of them are kind of dodgy um and kind of unnecessary but some of them you know are basic and are pr pretty cool to use um the ma if you want to adjust the colors the color correction the all important color correction which you got a million tutorials for out there of course it's something to mess around with but the most fundamental you know plugin or preset that you can add to your footage in which you can mess around with is color curves and that's a very simple way of adjusting footage so if you grab so with every single type of uh, you know effect that you can add Sony Vegas has a lot of presets in which you can already use but if you want to use your own you got the f very first one called reset to none and you just grab that and you grab and drag it onto your clip and what you get is the uh, video event effects window popping up for that specific clip and uh, for color curves I might go through this later but um, it's just a really easy um, way to increase you know highlights all the while kind of you know deepening the uh, depth of the darkness and uh, you know maybe that's a bit too dark um, make it a bit lighter and uh, yep from here if you, if you really like a specific preset and I like this one looks really cool you can name it something so you can just go really awesome awesomely cool color correction and you can press save what that does is that it saves this really awesomely cool color preset and then you can use this to drag onto the other other clips like so and uh, so but if you want to adjust it you can every single clip will have this kind of weird um, you know plus kind of sign and that's actually the event effects so that's actually any type of special effect that you add onto the clip will be uh, you know under that window and so you can adjust it from there if you got you know and like two or more effects so let's just add in this black and white effect um, onto this you know just give it a bit of black and white like that um, and actually the same window will have both effects going on right here and so that's what you got uh, there and uh, you know that looks pretty cool it's got a kind of darkish type of look not too overwhelming but then again TF2 has some really awesome colors that you want to you don't want to kind of you know screw up by adding too many you know, overlay overlaying colors so um yep that's um, how to add special effects um, I'm just going to go through another you know, icon that you have just above the event special effects and that's called the event pan and crop what this is is how you know you kind of view the specific file you are watching so um, if you want to zoom in on a specific area what you have to do is you got this F this this rectangle here is what you have in your preview right here it's what you, you're showing so if you were to shrink it like so you're actually zooming in so you can I, I've zoomed in onto that specific area 
you can you can uh, kind of go through the footage down here in its own mini time bar and uh, yeah you can actually zoom in more so than usual if uh, you got you know something you want to emphasize like a kill notice or you know anything like that so that's how you zoom in but you know this is how you zoom in how do you zoom out again like you don't want to just leave it like that so what you can do is um, I'm going to do the really lame zoom in on the kill notice thing so if we go right here at this specific time we go to event pan um, if we scrub through here okay here is we can see the kill notice how do you zoom in you zoom in by going like you know, like that. Um, I'm holding shift to keep the ratio right. Um, but yeah, how you do this is that you're going to be working with keyframes. So, kind of like how we were smoothing, how we were making keys. Keys are just, you know, specific points or like bookmarks in time. And so, what we can do is if we were to create, you know, if you press plus here, you create a key point. And at this key point, I want to zoom in like that, like this, zoom in. But um, as you can see, at the beginning, it has a keyframe of default. And and what happens is that um, in between these two, um, you've got a kind of a transition thing going on. So from the full resolution here to the zoom, it, it does that between the two keys, kind of like how in smoothing you got the key moving from the next key, etc., etc. Um, what you can do is actually move these keys around, and so what I actually have is the the full resolution thing going right up to here until it gets the kill, and then we zoom in, and if we zoom out again like this, it automatically makes another key. And so you got these three triangles, I mean, triangles, did I go to primary school? These are diamonds, double triangles if you may. Um, so you, uh, you can see that this middle key here, this middle diamond here, is it zooming in. These two out here are the zooming out or the default. So from the first thing, zoom in, zoom out. And you got that and it's hunky dory. Um, and you can mess around with these keys if it's not timed properly. Uh, you can just move it away, move it closer to make it faster. And uh, yeah, that's that also works with special effects. So special effects also has keys. And so if you want a specific moment, so uh, let's just make that explosion glow. So if we get a glow effect here, we add it here. You don't want the entire clip to be glowing. You just want uh, that part where you zoom in on the kill to flash. So we're making a key, we're making it glow a lot. That's a bit too much. Yeah, that's a completely unnecessary glow. Oh, that looks all right. Glow there. And zoom out a bit. You know, the glow is still there. We don't want that. We make them all zero. Get a key point there. And yeah, same at the end. So what you have is no glow, glow in the middle here, and then out of the glow. And then bam, that's uh, pretty sweet right there. So um, that's pretty much the basics of what you need to know in Sony Vegas. Um, the last thing. I'm going to be telling you is how to render it out. Um, so save your project, Control S. Make sure you save it a lot. My Sony Vegas has a really dodgy habit of crashing, so save it. Then go this next floppy disk. I'm not sure why they're using floppy disk icons. We don't use them anymore, but <laughs> we got that. It's render as, and uh, what it is is that uh, you know, you're know you going to be making your movie now so name Thaleon.avi you can choose what format you want we're going to be working with AVI um, this template 
it's going to be they have a lot of presets to you know how you record the footage um, you know automatically it actually automatically has you know compression codecs and certain settings and what we're going to be using or what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rendering it out uncompressed and then we're going to be you know compressing it later using other programs so you know like I said before uh, when using Lagaris and all that every single time you render out footage or you encode footage you can lose you can possibly lose you know quality so the best thing to do is to you know render it out uncompressed so if you go down to this custom bar here we got a template you know you can call it uncompressed and you can just save it any notes meh so you click include video you want your video in this you know AVI at the end frame size you can adjust it but like before uh, we're using the project settings which is 1280 by 720 um, frame rate if you've been working um, this movie at 60 FPS you, know, you can render it out at 60 FPS or right at the end you, know, you can be working uh, with the project at 60 FPS and then right at the end you know, uh, we, we, you know, render it out at 60 FPS and make another one at 30 FPS for YouTube. And yeah, this is the option you use. So frame rate 30, field order, same thing as before. We're going to be doing non-progressive scan, pixel, same thing, one. Um, you can either go now, video format. This is the codec we're going to be using. So um, uncompressed is best, but um, Lagarus is you know, if you're running out of space, these final renders can be massive 50 gigs at least for me um, and so you can use Lagarus to save a lot of space if you don't have enough space for the uncompressed and then um, you want to interleave every second and interleave every frame just trust me on this it's something to do with motion blur and the field orders and all that trust me and create an open DML AVI version 2.0 compatible file no idea what that means, but if it's ticked here and my videos work, why not use it in your project? So, audio, you know, who cares about that? You can increase, you know, the quality of all that. Project, use project settings or best. Nah, it's all right. Save it, you know, save this template so you can use it later. Um, press OK and then uh, save from here. Actually, you don't want to save project markers in the file. Just go save. Ah, why am I doing? Why am I calling it Thaleon when I already have this raw footage called Thaleon? I'm going to be calling it Thaleon the movie. Press save. And we got this save, you know, bar or rendering bar going on right here. Um, this takes up a lot of your CPU. But what you can do, um, just like in. Um, in what you might call it, uh, forgot virtual dub. Um, you can adjust how much you want. Um, you know how the priority of Sony Vegas is. Like if you want it higher, or if you want to lower it down. Um, I forgot how to do it. Something to do with the window bar. But once that's all rendered out. 7 all the way up to 100 um, yeah you got yourself your footage and I'm going to be teaching you how to compress it later um, that is the basics of Sony Vegas I will be going through um, certain tricks um, later on when I'm teaching you how to make um, you know the movies I made in the past so um, yeah just uh, you know mess around a bit you know, refer to some of the things I taught you here. Um, I learned everything pretty much by experimenting. Um, and yeah, just if you got any questions, ask me. Um, Sony Vegas, just just try it. Very simple. Great stuff comes from it. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, see you then.